Diane, the Creative Inkster. Today is Monday, April the 4th. Thank goodness we're into April. I think spring could be on its way. Don't want to jinx anything. Uh, however, I'm, I'm getting encouraged that it is going to come this year. We've had uh, not so much warmer weather, but um, I guess we're getting into our usual rainy season that happens here in Southern Ontario. And let's just hope the temperatures warm up for us. Uh, here's our card for tonight. If you're joining me live, please leave a comment. I love to catch up with you. And if you are watching the replay, similarly, let me know you've been here and ask any questions the way that you'd like. This is a bit of a fun fold card. Um, it's a fold over corner. I think is the name of it. Someone else knows the name, they can let me know. And I'm using some paper and a stamp set and bundle that I haven't used in quite some time. Hi, Vicki. So this is Sweet as a Peach, the stamp set, and it has matching dies. This is in our annual catalog, which ends May the 2nd, and this stamp set and bundle is actually retiring. So it's good to have another play with it. And I love how it has way more than just peaches. It has flowers and lots of greetings. So let's get going and make this card. It is, it's a bit different, a few different measurements that I've given you in the directions. I'm gonna use Calypso Coral and Pear Pizzazz. On this one here, I had also incorporated some of the Balmy Blue. And uh, I have similar colors, but a little bit different than my sample card. So let me get these pieces out. To get done ahead of time, so I'm not rushing at the end, I did the die cutting for the flowers and the stem ahead of time. So let's go over the pieces that we need. I'll leave this up in the corner so you can see the card. Here's our standard card vase. It's eight and a half by five and a half. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. And we're gonna just going to score it in the middle at four and a quarter and fold it in half. And you'll see that this edge has been folded over. So we need to do a little work on the front of this. I'm gonna grab paper, I'm sorry, a pencil and a ruler. And what I'm gonna do on the front of the card, and this will of course work best with the right opening side card. Hi Valerie, good afternoon. Not the top loading type card in this size. So make sure you do it at eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm gonna score this at, or rather I'm gonna make a, a mark at three and a half inches to the left. So from the right opening, I'm gonna put a little tick mark at three and a half, and I'm also gonna do the same at three and a half from the top down. Simple markings. Then I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer and I'm going to use the scoring blade so that is the lighter gray one on this. And I'm gonna score from that black dot to the other black dot. You could use a scoreboard too, that would work just as well. I have this handy, it's kind of easy for me. So basically I went over three and a half and down three and a half and made this score line. And then this is gonna fold back. I'm gonna glue it down too, but first, I want to get the designer series paper piece tucked in there. Now, as you can imagine, when I put that piece in there, it needs to be folded down as well. I'm actually going to cut it off. I found that that was a little bit better than trying to fit this excess piece in here with the bulk that will be creative, created. So I, I picked two um, matching patterns. This one I keep thinking that's the right side up is the peaches that's going to go on the inside and the floral one's going to go on the outside. Okay, so as I mentioned, this piece uh, in my instructions is four and an eighth. No, it's four and an eighth. Yes, it should be four and an eighth. Let's just double check that. So I think I have it a little bit wide. So four and an eighth by five and three eighths, a wee bit bigger than normal. Yeah, that's fine. Just a bit bigger because we're gonna cut some of it off. I thought it would be nice to have as much showing as we possibly can. So to give you a reference point, 
I scored over at three and a half. So just be um, three and a half on the card base. So if I do three and a half on this and three and a half here, it's going to work out the same way. So again, I'm going to grab my ruler, trusty ruler, and I'm going to grab a pencil. And I'm going to make a little mark at three and a half and down from the top at three and a half. And this time, instead of scoring it, I'm actually going to cut this piece off. So putting this back in my paper trimmer, putting the two pencil marks in the track like that. I'm going to grab the cutting blade and I'm going to pull it down. And this may take a little, a little hair cutting, but I found if I did it on my sample at three and a half and three and a half and this folds over, you're none the wiser that that piece has been taken out. So put that out the way. All right, so let's get this piece glued down before we get any further along here. I'm using my stamp and seal. Update on Riley. Uh, he had um, a rather bad episode on Friday. It's Friday morning. So we took him to the vet and on Saturday and they drew some blood and did a bunch of things, uh, sent some blood work off and they wanted to rule out anemia. So I just folded that piece over and glued it down. All right. And now I'm going to put this piece uh, here that is also four and an eighth by five and three eighths on the inside. So we're covering up a lot of the card base. So yeah, they ruled out anemia. And uh, in talking with the doctor today or the vet today, um, the feeling is they are actual epileptic seizures. So they're going to finish up some antibiotics they gave him because his red blood cell count was high. I'm not a nurse. I'm just trying to remember what he told me. And then they are going to um, have them finish that after 14 days. So we're only about, what, two days into that so far. And then uh, they will prescribe him something for the epileptic seizures. And our fingers are crossed that that is going to solve his problem and he won't need to be on heart medication. So we may be closer. And I thank everybody for your comments on my page and just sending me little little comments to say you're thinking about us because uh, it's much appreciated. Our, our poor little guy has been through a lot and uh, we don't want him to go through that anymore. All right, so I am using this leaf um, image from the Sweet as a Peach in Pear Pizzazz. Now, at first I thought this was an old olive color, but actually it is Pear Pizzazz. I'm gonna put this on the first piece of two and a half inch square, and it's gonna come from the corner, the top right corner, just like in my sample. Okay, and then I've already pre-cut and die cut, pre-stamped and die cut out these flowers. So they are one stamp and it die cuts out with one die to do the three in position. So that works really, really well. So I'm going to, you'll see that they do just kind of fit lovely inside this, the bigger one down here the smallest one here and you have a little bit of wiggle room if you wish to get them placed because you can sort of see the stems and you're going to be covering them up so let's grab some dimensionals and put those on the back of the each of the flowers and you can do this with any pattern paper and really any design that you already have i'm just glad to be able to use this one more time at least before it retires and you know we never really get rid of stuff do we? we we do keep it although i do have a retirement sale every year in the summer and uh, hoping to do some of that in person this year that would be nice if i could coordinate to have it outside that would be lovely 
Um, okay, so I'm going to put this on a piece of two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So it's a really small border in the same way that I did a thin border on this card. So let's do that. And we'll be ready to add this piece down. When I first did my sample card over here, the base is in Calypso Coral, and I'd originally cut these two and five eighths out of Calypso Coral, but I found it really needed a different color to kind of give some more dimension to it. And so that is what I have done. So here we have our piece that's folded over, and we're gonna just simply slide this guy in. So the trick on this though, is that you wanna make sure your adhesive doesn't come over on this side, because that'll glue it down, right? So we wanna have our adhesive, I'm gonna have a kind of an idea. So it's not exactly just halfway, it's a little past halfway. So once again, I'm just gonna look at the, the direction, because I'm talking here, and we know what happens then. So I'm kind of going, I need to go a little bit, oh, a little bit more than halfway. Just a little bit further than halfway across. And then just slide this guy in. So it's no fancy, it's a fancy fold, but it's nothing funky that you couldn't really do easily enough. So that's our front. Let's get the other stamping done. On the inside, I did Sweet as a Peach. I think I might do something similar. So I'm going to grab the peach stamp and I've already die cut the stem, so we're ready with that. A block here and grab our Calypso Coral. It's about as close to a peach color as we have, I guess. I guess that's debatable. And this one goes straight on. It doesn't need to be on an angle in any way. And I kind of did it a little towards the bottom so that my stem could stick up without sticking out. All right, you're there with me. And then I'm going to put a greeting in the middle and I'm going to use my pear pizzazz for that. What else would fit on here? Have a peachy day is about the same size. So let's go with that one this time. And that greeting is here. Have a peachy day. It fits right over top of the peach, which is kind of cute. Let's clear this up. I know it's been quite the ordeal with him. He's a, he's a real trooper and a real member of the family as they become right that's what happens when you have pets they they become like your children and i didn't want to have to get into mris and all of that because i worried about his age and putting him through um, having to be put uh, under in order to have those procedures that was something i wanted to avoid okay so here's our lovely stem and when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, it just goes on like that. But no, it actually goes this way so that your, your, your pointed up stem piece comes out there. All right, this then also goes on to a two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And that's just to coordinate with the other pieces. You could certainly change up your measurements of this to suit your needs. But wouldn't this look great with the dragonfly or butterflies or um, I think it would even work well for a male card if you a masculine I should say card if you wanted to um, use some pattern paper and put a tree or or the uh, anchor or something of that sort of nature or if you've got the old golf clubs uh, one that may fit nicely on there so i'm going to glue this on and this time i didn't put any glue in the top left to connect directly here i suppose i could let's try that on this one i didn't put it all the way around on the last one because it was pressed up there close enough but i'm just going to line this up 
against the other one. We're nearly finished this card. Yeah, so it does seal it up a little bit nicer there. And then to give you an area to write on them, you could always write on the back. That's doable. Um, oh, thank you. I'm just looking up to Debbie. Thank you for that. I, I appreciate your following along and, and your support. Um, I, but I had a piece here that I measured. Originally, this one is two and a half inches. I did this one a little bit bigger at two and five eighths by four. And that makes it fit just lovely like that. And I want to fit it so that when the card is closed, you don't see that. So that's what I'm going for. I'm going to add the greeting on here. I'm not sure if pear pizzazz on pear pizzazz will give me dark enough, but I'm going to go with that anyway. How does that sound? And this one's going to say, what's the outside say? That's, oh yeah, right. It just says have a peachy. I'm going to do a birthday with this one. Happy birthday. I haven't used this stamp set enough, but that's a lovely happy birthday. Let's clear this off. Clean this stamp, get that guy out of the way. So happy birthday on my piece and just centered near the top. Two and five eighths by four. Oh yeah, that's dark enough. It shows up nicely. And I'm going to glue this into place on the front of my card. You can make it as big or as small as you like. What would be nice would be even uh, one of our labels with a scalloped edge. That would add a little flair to it. And so I'm just going to, uh, how I eyeballed this before was I put it behind so that I saw exactly where it was going to go down and then pushed it down and then not too hard. I didn't place it too hard so that I could just wiggle it into place. There we go. That is how it turns out. So one other thing I wanted to add was some embellishments and some ribbons. So I'm going to pull in some scratch paper so I don't mess this nice sheet up here. And I've got my uh, light old olive because we don't have a pear pizzazz stamp and blend. We have many colors, but there's a number of colors we don't have. And I want to add some color to the ribbon. I suppose I could have done Calypso Coral too. Uh, the last one I did, I did it a little bit, um, a little bit short. So let's do a little bit more ribbon this time. So you just take your stamp and blend. I'm sure you've seen me or other people do this and just run it along. I recently did one where I only did half the length of the, half the width of the ribbon. And that was a little bit challenging just to make sure that I got it only on half. But really, once it's tied into a ribbon, tied into a bow, rather, or to a knot, you're really not going to see that difference. Now, this is the crinkled seam binding ribbon, which I love. I don't like the crinkle on the white, but once I have it colored with a... Stamp and blend. Oh my goodness, I, I love the crinkled look. And when you add color to it using a stamp and blend, somehow it makes this ribbon much stiffer. Not like totally stiff, but stiffer to work with. It, and it lays flat lovely. So I don't know why. Okay, I did quite a bit this time. I probably didn't need to do that much, but that's okay. Here we go. There's our bow. Okay, not good. Let's do that over again. And get it, get it kind of flat in the center piece there. The thing about taking a little bit longer, a little bit more ribbon than you need is you have a little bit more to play with. So that if you goof up your cutting off, you've got some space to work with. And so, yeah, I can stick this on here with a glue dot. And then all that's missing are some embellishments on the flowers because we like our embellishments, don't we? Those ones on my sample card were from the Artistry Blooms sequence, which are retiring as well. 
and I have some in colors I think that will work here. So I don't know all the colors that were in there, but there were four or six colors. This is all I have left is this last little bit. And I think I will use, I used the blue ones on the last one. I think I'll use this color here, which I think is Calypso Coral or it's really close. And they have a little bit of other color iridescence to them. Let's grab three. One, whoop, two, and three. Rhinestones would work, but I use those all the time. Nice to use something different. And because we need to use these guys up, let's add them on here too. Give this card lots of pizzazz for the recipient. Look at that, we're just going to town here. I'm not a person who likes leftovers. I don't like leftover stamp supplies. I don't like leftover food. I like to use stuff up. And so Hello. that's what I'm doing. Whoops, okay. Uh, so here's our card like this. Isn't that cute? Well, thanks for watching ladies. And tomorrow night, I'll be back with a Technique Tuesday. And we are going to be doing, hey, look, what are we doing? I need to take a sneak peek. This is all prepped and ready to go. Oh, we're doing a fun paper layout. A way to use up some designer series paper in a really simple but very effective way. How is that for a sneak peek? Alrighty, thanks for watching. Have a lovely evening. Bye now.